Chapter 22, the book of Sirach. On laziness and foolishness. The sluggish is like a stone in the mud. Everyone hisses at his disgrace. The sluggard is like a lump of dung. Whoever touches him wipes his hands. An unruly child is a disgrace to its father. If it be a daughter, she brings him to poverty. A thoughtful daughter becomes a treasure to her husband. A shameless one is her father's grief. A hussy shames her father and her husband. By both, she is despised. Like a song in time of mourning is inopportune talk. But lashes and discipline are at all times wisdom. Teaching a fool is like gluing a broken pot or like disturbing a man in it in the depths of a sleep. He talks with a slumberer who talks with a fool. For when it is over, he will say, what was that? Weep over the dead man, for his light has gone out. Weep over the fool, for sense has left him. Weep but a little over the dead man, for he is at rest. But worse than death is the life of a fool. Seven days of mourning for the dead. But for the wicked fool a whole lifetime. Speak but seldom with the stupid man. Be not the companion of a brute. Beware of him lest you have trouble and be spattered when he shakes himself. Turn away from him and you will find rest and not be wearied by his lack of sense. What is heavier than lead and what is its name but fool? Sand and salt and an iron mass are easier to bear than a stupid man. Masonry bonded with wooden beams is not loosened by an earthquake. Neither is a resolve constructed with careful deliberation, shaken in a moment of fear. A resolve that is backed by prudent understanding is like the polished surface of a smooth wall. Small stones lying on an open height will not remain when the wind blows. Neither can a timid resolve based on foolish plans withstand fear of any kind. The preservation of friendship. One who jabs the eye brings tears. He who pierces the heart bears its feelings. He who throws stones at birds drives them away and he who insults a friend breaks up the friendship. Should you draw a sword against a friend, despair not, it can be undone. Should you speak sharply to a friend, fear not, you can be reconciled. But a contemptuous insult, a confidence broken, or a treacherous attack will drive away any friend. Make fast friends with a man while he is poor, Thus will you enjoy his prosperity with him. In time of trouble, remain true to him, so as to share in his inheritance when it comes. Before flames burst forth an oven smokes, so does abuse come from bloodshed. From a friend in need of support, no one need hide in shame. But from him who brings harm to his friend, all will stand aloof who hear of it prayer. Who will set a guard over my mouth and upon my lips an effective seal, that I may not fail through them, that my tongue may not destroy me? Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.